you know, it doesn't get any better than this. Okay, here's the deal. I've got a jerkbait, a top water, a soft plastic jerkbait, and a swimming boot tail. Dan's got a hair jig, he's got a tube, he's got a spinner bait, and he's got a swim bait. What do you think we're fishing for? Some of you got it right at smallmouth bass. To be specific, it's pre-spawn, spawn smallmouth bass. And we're someplace we've never been before, and that's always fun, man. Yeah, we got 10 rods rigged. I love this early season smallmouth fishing. They bite on so many different things. It's a blast. Today, Al and I are a short hop across the Canadian border in the Atacokan region of Sunset Country in the province of Ontario, Canada. We both love this area. The diversity of fish is amazing. You can catch northern pike, walleye, lake trout, crappie, perch, muskie, largemouth, and what we're chasing today, giant smallies. We will be spending a week at Camp Quetico. Barry Giles, the owner, calls it an ultra-modern facility. <laughs> this guy started this resort when he was 22. Wow, I know what I was doing when I was 22, and it wasn't running a resort. He is a young man with a plan. I started when I was uh, 22. I'm originally from Eastern Ontario. I grew up in the fishing business. My parents owned a resort back in Eastern Ontario as a young kid growing up. Uh, when I turned 17, I sort of took over management of it and uh, continued doing that for five years. Once I graduated high school, went to university. After two years of university, I decided that uh, the office job wasn't for me and I wanted to get into the outdoor business. So when I was 22, my parents financially backed me and we came north and purchased Camp Quetico in 1998. Camp Quetico has uh, nine lakeside cabins and three motel style units that are like one bedroom cabins. We have a main lodge where you can option for the American plan or where all of our cabins are equipped with full kitchens so you can do your own cooking if you'd like a more leisurely schedule. We offer the guided packages if you choose to do a guided fishing trip. You can also do it yourself trip where you uh, take boats and motors and just fish on your own each day. Uh, you also have the option of doing a partially guided package where you do a few days guided and a few days unguided. Camp Quetico differs from many drive-ins. Many drive-ins you're stuck to one lake or a couple portage lakes. Camp Quetico diversifies. You have the main lake which is a tremendous multi-species lake but then we also have a lot of outlying lakes are more like a fly-in option. You'll be the only boats on the lakes, you won't see another resort, another outpost. You'll be all by yourself, so you'll get the tranquility of a fly-in, yet you have all the conveniences of modern drive-in. Yes, thank you. Yeah, Camp Quick over the last 20 years has developed into an ultra-modern camp. I mean, all the camps have uh, satellite TV, satellite Wi-Fi. They all have the nice plush mattresses, the dark out curtains. We also offer a sauna, a hot tub. We also have the trellis down there for an ultra modern fire pit. There's also in our main lodge, you can shoot a game of pool, sit around, have a game of foosball. Yeah, I mean, Camp Quetico offers the diversity. You can fish uh, world-class mammoth fishery. We have excellent walleye northern fishery. You can do a half-day lake trout here or there. We also offer the spring and fall bear hunt. So if you want to combine a fishing hunting trip, you can fish all day, hunt late afternoon, evening, and that's either late May, early June, or that's a late August, early September hunt. Good one. There you go. That looked like a good one. Sounded nice. like a good one. Yeah, he did. It ain't a bad one. It ain't. It ain't. It, it, it's like that other one, Dan. It ain't a bad one, but it ain't a big one. But it ain't a bad one. Topper. Yeah, yeah. Much better. Much better. Come here, baby. A little bit better, huh? Yeah. I'm liking it. You want me to tell this, you down here? This is no. Oh yeah. That dog will hunt. Uh, Usually that top water bite on these lakes this time of the year doesn't light up until later in the day, but uh, uh, I got to get my players here, Dan. Uh, that one I dumped just before, that was about the same, same size, a real nice one. This, top water bite, you can, you can never go wrong with the top water bite, can you? 
Now, in, you come into, in, into sunset country here in Ontario, these smallmouth bite on topwater baits all year long until fall when they go down in their wintering holes. Yeah, you know, they love topwater baits. And that's why so many people come up, up here to fish a smallmouth. They love, you know, a lot of fly rod fishermen come in there, but it's, it's so much fun because they eat top water all season long. In fact, in many, when they go out on the big reefs in a lot of these lakes later in the summer, some of the biggest fish you're gonna catch can be top watering over 50, 60, 70, 80 feet of water. Dan and I were here a few years ago in a lake in this area, and we just pounded them, big fish in open water. You know, these lakes, every, the lakes that grow really big fish, they have a unique characteristic up there. They're usually bigger lakes with a, a big open water forage base, bed basin, a, a Cisco's Tulabee smelt, and that's what grows big numbers of big smallmouth. You know, that's one of the keys. Now you got a lot of smaller lakes all over the place loaded with smallmouth, and they're crawfish, perch, uh, shiner eaters. And now uh, you can get big fish and you do get big fish, but those are the lakes you go, you catch a hundred fish a day and you get three, four or five really, you know, decent fish. But the real monsters come out of the bigger lakes that got that big amounts of open water forage. I like it. See that little dark spot right off the back of that? It's almost, it's almost silly. <laughs> it takes no skill, you just drag I it out there and you feel time. like you're you feel like you're kind of a dope because you're not doing anything with the bait, but you're not supposed to. That's the trick. Bad Ted Ned rig. Oh, there you go. Nice one. Look at it. Nice one. And hair. Yep. Or smallies. Nice one. So yeah, well, you've earned that one. I've, I've earned it. I've earned it. Good. Hit the talon, Al. Hit the talon. Yeah, good, good. Talon, just talon down here and fan cast around here a little bit. Okay, I got her locked down. Nice. He was sitting here. Yeah, and just kicking my butt this afternoon. I thought that topwater bite was going to turn on, and the fish got really touchy. This is a. That's a good one. That's boy. a good one. Yeah. Oh. Oh, come here, come here. <sighs> Look at that baby, huh? So I didn't put a hair jig on too long. I said, enough, enough. I'm sitting in the back and he's going, bam, bam, bam. That's, oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's the biggest one of the day so far. Yeah, 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 you know, this has been really fun. This is why people come up here. You know, it was interesting. I was in a, a parking lot, lot, lot here at Camp Quetico and we got in last night. I, I, I walked around real quick plates from Kansas, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana. And I talked to these people, what are you up here for? What do you like to fish? Some are up here for the walleyes in that. We love going to all of these lakes, catching big brown bass like this. And interesting. These camp operators, when I, when I talked to Barry, I said, what would you like us to do a television show? You got four, 40 lakes filled with fish. He says, the interest in smallmouth fishing is sky high. Do some stuff on smallmouth. I looked at Danny, I said, that's an easy sell, man. There he goes. Get him again? Yeah. Another good one, too. Not a bad one. Hairball, oh, dun 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 dun. Good, nice fish, nice fish, man. I gotta tell you, Daniel, this has been an amazing, uh, uh, amazing, amazing day. I mean, you talk about fun. Holy, this is my whole, my whole new favorite area. And you know what? We're going to a new lake tomorrow and we're going to a new, new lake the next day. And he says, every one of them has got loads of big smallmouth like this. Now that's my idea of a vacation getaway to paradise, man. Smallmouths like this, all kinds of different water, magnificent weather, and you got it all to yourself. Pretty sweet, ain't it?